you know, that it was pretty, you know, uh, it was pretty firm. Like, uh, I had a good idea. I was kind of, you know, you kind of hope for the best, you know, football, you know, you get what you earn, you know, in some ways. And, uh, you know, in other ways, there's a business side of it. And, you know, hard work works. And I'm going to continue to work hard and the things we believe in. And obviously, my wife is my best friend. And she's great. And she's been so supportive in everything. You know, sometimes you have to make tough decisions. And, you know, I, I don't think the team should be a... Uh, you know, deal with the negative side of helping me achieve my goals. You know, it's a, it's not an individual sport, so it's not it's not the team's fault. They were kind of the reason I'm able to be talking to you guys like this and saying I had a good season. You know, so um, I'm very blessed. I'm blessed to rush with these guys. I'm blessed to play on a great team, and I, and at the end of the day, I think we can win a Super Bowl. Are you? Um, so I've been talking to you guys for like four years and I'm not really interested in stats and accolades. Those are byproducts of hard work. You know, those are out of my control. I have no idea who votes on those things, nor do I care. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, I play hard for guys like Sam, guys like BJ, these guys to get the ball back to Joe, um, you know, Logan, all these guys. So it's, it's a big deal. You know, we have Vaughn Bell back. There's a lot to be excited about. So to sit here and think about individual achievements and what is it, uh, you know, May, you know, that's just not right. So you had signed the extension last. Sorry, you had signed the extension last year. In hindsight, do you have any regrets about that or? What? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. No, I, I don't. I think my goal was to play here longer. So when they offered me a chance to play for Cincinnati another year, I took it. I would take it again. And you know, the production side is not. I'm not asking for like a great business decision. You know, I know that asking ownership, there's not a, a lot of ways to cut it. I just know what I can do and how I can do it. And I think my tape has proven that over the last four years as a starter. And, um, you know, like at the end of the day, I understand the business side and I'm not asking like, you know, for good business decisions. It's a at the end of the day, it's just I'm not going to let the team suffer for that. Are you at peace with where you are right now? Yeah, I think that's what having a foundation in Jesus Christ is, is a peace that surpasses all understanding. You know, I'm able to um, have peace with my family and my home, and I'm blessed to have my wife as a uh, soundboard for that. What was it like having Shelby back in the rock? you talked about playing with What's it been like? Were you playing with Yeah. He's a great guy and highly talented. That's why a guy like that is evaluated by our staff so well and brought into this building, and he can do nothing but help us. So excited to rush with him again. He's a very talented and explosive defensive tackle that knows how to bring down the quarterback. Great season starts with the offseason. What you do in the offseason, how hard you work, and nobody works any harder. Greg, when you said that uh, you bigger, faster, stronger, all that sort of thing. What kind of goals do you set for offseason? Well, you know, I mean, obviously, they're, you know, conditioning, uh, body composition, stuff like that all goes into it. The sports sciences is, you know, this wasn't around when I was 15, you know. So um, it's fun to kind of be in the league and adapt and overcome the adversities that come. You know, there's days you're sore and you do different workouts and stuff like that. But inevitably, everybody should strive to be stronger and faster. Every year? Really oh, every year. Grown every year that way? Yeah, I've been very blessed to work hard, yeah. What did you enjoy most about getting back on the field yesterday, seeing BJ, seeing the rest of these guys, and, and them knowing in the back of their minds too that, okay, Trey's back? Yeah, you know, um, it's one of those things that nothing can – replicate a team like football and you, when you get a group of guys like this that selflessly play for each other um, it's special and I don't want to be a part of why it's not like that so coming back like I said was um, at the end of the day a no brainer to build the foundation of what this team will look like. Did you talk to Joe at all throughout this process and he made it clear last week that he wanted the best for you whatever that was what did it mean to have that kind of support from your quarterback? Well it means a lot whenever somebody that time Talented has your back. Obviously, he's at the top of his game, and you know I strive to be at the top of mine year in and year out. Um, very similar, like-minded, hardworking players, and um, you know I keep to our my wife and I keep to ourselves. You know we're not. I don't typically do a lot of the media stuff, but I feel like I got I might owe you guys one. Um, but you know at the end of the day, 
um, all of this stuff is it, the best way I can put it is separating the business from the team and that's something that's very unique and it's something that I navigated as a man with the help of my wife and um, I'm comfortable with every decision I've made like I don't have any regrets or anything like that I think moving forward it's all about the, like you know achieving goals this year taking care of things and with the answers I've been given I'm comfortable where I'm at he was willing to kind of listen and go through all that what's that what were the conversations like with Zach as you kind of went through this and and how was that kind of relationship as you kind of navigated the business side yeah, of it yeah it's very supportive just like uh you know everybody has been you know there's there's an element of like I said individual achievement but at the end of the day we are a team and um, being a part of a team that's special tight-knit that cares like they understand where I'm coming from but at the end of the day um, you know there's parts that are out of their control out of my control and um, what you do with those decisions are what defines you as a man and um, you know my wife and I made uh, through prayer the decisions that hard work and dedication to the guys that have helped me get to this place um, you know so I'm very blessed and I don't want that to go um, under said to play with guys like this what does it say about the culture in this locker room that you guys can almost separate the business from the team stuff and you were able to get all that support and it's not just you the basketball it's whether it's Jesse T all the business yeah. side of stuff not impacting this locker room well you know in the NFL I'm not the first player that's um, ever been frustrated and I'm not going to be the last and it's not a personal attack on any organization at all they're running a business to produce to win Super Bowls just like I'm working hard to individually take care of my own and help help guys like Dax be a better corner and help uh, you know the rookies step to the plate and rush the passer better and be an example for other guys so you know at the end of the day it's just it's something that hard work works you know and I, I wanted to continue to do that, um, be a part of a really awesome team, and uh, you know, punch our ticket into the Super Bowl. Is that why you come back even though you don't necessarily have to be here? Now it's still voluntary? Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I want to be a part of the building of this team. You know, I want to be a part of, like, the groundworks, and, you know, that's a personal decision my wife and I made. You know, that everybody has an opinion on what to do, how to do it. Um, you know, that's a, another part about being a man, is making a decision and sticking to it, so... Um, um, I'm excited for what this season has. You know, am I, um, you know, there's a business side that, you know, that's not great. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, what I can control is how hard I work and how I attack the process of being uh, the best defensive end I can be.